Welcome to another video in the GIMP. Today we're going to be using uh, the green screen for our integrated project. This is going to be our second checkpoint. We're going to get a picture of a castle and then we're going to take a picture on the green screen and we're going to use that picture on the green screen and take the green out and basically put yourself in front of a castle. Okay. So to get started, what you want to do first is find a picture of a castle. So go to Google, type in castle, and then go to images. And it'll have all sorts of images. You don't want to right click and save these thumbnails because the image will be too small. You actually want to go in, find an interesting one, and left click on it so it'll bring up a full size image. Okay. So this one we can see is uh, 1024 by 768. Once you find one you like, right click, do save image as, and you're going to save it in your pictures folder. Okay, and go ahead and give it a simple name like castle and save it. All right, once you have your castle, come up and let me know and I will let you take a picture on the green screen. And then once you get back, what you're going to do is go to file open and you're going to go to your picture folder and open up your picture that you just saved of the castle. So I've got one here I'm going to open up. And then once you have that, you're going to open up your picture. Well, actually, let's do this first. Let's create a new layer. And go ahead and name it green screen. And for the layer fill type, put transparency and click OK. Then what we need to do is uh, let's go to File Open. And you're going to get your green screen picture. Go to the 506, and there's a folder in there called Green Screen Picks. Open up that folder, go to your period, you'll have your picture in there and open it up. Okay, And you'll have it down here. You want to select your picture. We can see up here that this picture is 3,000 pixels by about 1,700 pixels, so it's way bigger than our castle picture, so we're going to have to scale it down. Okay, First thing we want to do is do select and select all, and then go to edit and go to copy. Then what we'll do We've made our green screen layer, so we're going to select that layer and we're going to go to edit and go to paste. And we can see that the picture is really big. So what you want to do is make sure that your window is selected with your castle and hit minus and you can basically zoom out on it. And then right here we have the scale tool. And what you want to do is you want to left click and drag down your picture make it smaller and then hit scale and then use the move tool here and move your picture onto your castle picture and now to get rid of the green we're going to use this tool this is the select by color tool we're going to use that um, to get rid of the green. But first what we need to do is we have this floating selection. So we need to right click on it and we need to anchor the layer. And then once we have that we can use our color select to select the green. And you just left click on it and you can hold shift and select more than, um, basically select it more than once. And then if you hit delete on your keyboard that'll delete it. And you just want to use the plus sign and you're going to keep doing that until you've selected all the green and basically just take out as much as you can of the green and then once you have that what I want you to do is use your text tool and label it with your basically your name the date and your period put the date and then your period. Remember 
remember we could do text to selection and then delete the text and then if you want to use a gradient or something like that or one of the techniques we've learned for the font you can do that as well once you have that done let's go ahead and save it in the graphics folder so go to the 506 period 2 your folder and your graphics and I want you to name it castle.jpg if you're not finished with it you'll save it as an XCF okay but if you are go ahead and save it as a JPEG hit save hit export make sure the quality is at least 85 and then hit save and then you'll be done with this assignment